what's up you guys hey beautiful gorgeous people welcome to the channel welcome back to another beautiful episode trust me you're going to love this one um if you've been if you're watching for the first time please consider subscribing we have a safe lovely fun place for you if you're watching for the second time if you're my returning 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 person i love you so much thank you for watching please share comment tell everyone as you've seen the title today we are talking about a virtuous woman the proverbs 31 woman you know why i have had this i've had conversation about this too much like it gets to me like too much so you know what i'm going to read for myself and i'm going to invite someone smart enough to tell us about this so guys welcome so guys esther you're welcome thank you welcome to thank you for honoring our invite Pleasure. You are, you're welcome to spiritual realities where we do Christian content. Um, so today we are talking about Proverbs 31 woman okay. and uh, yeah, we thought you that suitable person for this. Thank Tell you. us about yourself. My name is Esther. I am a worship leader. I am a mentor for youth mainly. Wow. I love dealing with young people. I like to know what they think. I am an author. I have written a book. It's called Dear Daddy. It mainly highlights issues that girls go through with their fathers yeah. or things that fathers might never know that their daughters need growing up. So basically wow. we're talking about the life of a father and a daughter because I am very, very passionate wow. about relationships and about how people mainly relate to each other in community. I think we should bring you back. <laughs> <laughs> well, There's a lot to talk about. <laughs> that's mainly about me basically but as we go on i'm sure you'll get to know a lot more things yeah so where can we find dear daddy dear daddy currently i will leave my number so you yeah. can have it it's also on amazon if you checked dear daddy okay oh, it's esther fortunate yeah dear so can we can we, we get like a link who can yes most definitely okay yeah, we will gladly do that thank you so today we're talking about the proverbs 31 i want to believe it's not just to a wife as we read this yeah i want to believe um to a girl out there who is going to get into marriage mm -hmm. or pursuing has a passion in life yeah is this can also work for mm -hmm. them right yeah that's very true i have come to realize that wives are made from single women it's so true. there are things when people are addressing them when they're addressing a wife and all as a young woman that desires to one day be in a family yes yeah and raise their own you don't just wake up one morning in your marital home and all of a sudden all these things download onto you. Yes. There should have been prior preparation. preparation. Yes. Yeah. So when you're speaking about a woman that brings pleasure to her community, worthy enough to be spoken about, yeah. it didn't start on the day she walked into her husband's home. Yeah. So we're all we're all qualified for this. So if you're a girl out there, this is yours. This is yours to watch. That's so okay, let's begin. I'm beginning from 10 because that's when she starts talking about the Proverbs 31. She says, who can find a virtuous woman, a virtuous and capable wife? She is more precious than rubies. What do you think? Uh, what I understand by that particular verse 10 is that um, we have placed so much value, I should say, on, on things that are tangible, yeah. on how much you have materially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you realize that there is a lot more to a human being who has it right mm, yeah. better than I'm, I'm thinking he used rubies in this case because they're precious stones yeah. they're really expensive yeah. the way we know gold now yeah, 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 or, yeah. Even, or money because they or money yeah, yeah. yes so if you have a good wife and you've heard of scriptures still in Proverbs that talk about it's better to live at the rooftop than with a nagging wife because yes, yeah. if you have a bad one yeah it doesn't matter how much money you have, it's not going to help. But yeah, it is a really good guy. Okay. So when he says, much more precious than rubies, you've got a good woman, the money is a bonus. Yeah, the money is a bonus. And I also want to believe, um, coming from my point of view, uh, it is um, a, a precious woman is not just a materialistic woman. She's not a materialistic woman. Meaning, there is more to her than than a house, than the bags you could ever give her, exactly. than, than the trips you could ever take her to. She, like, without all this, she still has value. 
these are things you cannot buy. I mean, these are things like patience. These are things like uh, love. These are things like endurance. These are things like wisdom, right? Yeah. You cannot put money to wisdom. It doesn't matter how much you could give to a, just a beautiful woman. If she cannot put her things together, no it money can help, right? Yeah. yeah. No money can help. No money can help, yeah. So go to 11 says, her husband can trust her and she will greatly enrich his life. Yeah. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. Mm. Have you, I don't know whether you've heard of stories whereby a husband will come home and the first thing he's hiding is his wallet. Exactly. Yeah. Or if anything got lost from his room, he's accusing his wife first. Mm. What happened with those people usually is that there's a lack of trust. Something happened mm. that actually broke it. If he had important tasks, Yes. to carry out, he wouldn't trust his woman. Yeah. But that's for the married. But for us as single women, can you actually say that your boss, your parent, mm. your pastor, your friends will pick on you to accomplish a noble task? And they, and they know you're capable of doing exactly. it. Because it's one thing, because I may not trust you, not because you're, but you're not capable. Exactly. You don't have the skills, you don't have any personal growth with yourself. Your husband may not trust you with a business, because you know you cannot run a business, not because you're you're a thief or you're, but there's all you can do is to receive. You're a taker. You're a taker. Oh, it's mine. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, mine. yeah, yeah, yeah. So trust. It may not just because maybe you're unfaithful or yeah. something, but they cannot trust you yeah. even. Your boss cannot trust you with a, a task, and you're going to accomplish it. So someone finds themselves looking for someone else to do that. Yet there is you. Now for the vicious woman, she's capable. She can be trusted. Yeah. Wow. Whatever, you, whatever you put out there and say, mm. you know, you know you can be trusted when your leader thinks about you first if they needed help. Wow. If you're the first person they're thinking about, you are capable. He brings him good, not harm, for all the days of her life. Meaning this woman has, this woman has made it her life goal exactly. to do good to her husband. So for the single ladies, you have made it your goal to do good to people out there because you understand God loves people more than anything. Exactly. Right? And because of her character, I don't think she's even set out to specifically make you happy. Yes. But just by the way she lives, by the aura she gives off, you are done well with. Have you have people walked into your life and just by having a random conversation you feel blessed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. It's that kind of thing yeah. that she carries an aura about her because of her dignity, because of her values because of how she speaks to people when they see her, they are, they are blessed that he's doing good with it, or has been good to anybody else. Around. Then, she finds wool and flax and basically spins it. Okay. She is like a merchant ship bringing her food from afar. I see is that this woman is willing to work with her hands. Wow. She's not sitting mm -hmm. and waiting oh my for God. her husband to bring Money. You, you have mm. you seen this debate recently that has been in the air? It's about coming. Uh, we need money at home for this and that. I am all for coming money, just so you know. <laughs> yeah. All the way. Mm. But then I believe there should be a bonus. I mean, why yeah. should you lack salt at home? Because, because someone the husband no. didn't leave 2,000 shillings. What are you doing? Look at my liability. What are you doing? Yeah. Find something to do with yeah. your hands. Now, look, thinking about it. This, this woman has a skill. She has a skill. Meaning as a woman, you ought to have a skill in whatever. Yeah. It could be whatever. Maybe baking cakes or speaking to someone. Or, you must have a skill. Your hands are busy doing something. Right? And you realize that that is the era in which we are. I have noticed that so many of girls our age mm. are working on the one thing. How best do I look pretty? It's exactly. the trending fashion. I have to have the biggest Twitter handles, social media followers, mm. and all yeah. that. And then they're frustrated about the fact that they can't actually settle down with one partner sometimes. But there is because all this is not satisfying anyway. Exactly, because while taking nice pictures is a skill, mm. not everyone has made it big <laughs> yeah. and from taking nice pictures. pictures. And, and just so you know, you have beautiful mm. pictures today, tomorrow there's someone who's going to have better. There is always someone who's better. better. There is a better filter. There is always something <laughs> better. So you have what brings money into your bag. You know, we ignore this and say money is not everything, but hello, the world runs on money. Yes. At one point, you're going to have to make it. Even the Bible says, uh, what? Money, I'm uh, sorry. 
cancer yeah. is also, it has a lot of things, it's, yeah. so many. So, as a lady, as a single lady, as a married woman, get a skill. Get a skill that will actually help you. You need, you need a skill if you're going to be a virtuous woman. You know, and uh, this this brings me to this. You know, this whole conversation of, and I've had it in so many churches, where men of God tell women all splitting responsibilities, where the man brings in the backing, the woman stays home and keeps the home clean, and that is all to a woman. So you find that so many women are doing nothing in the names of. The pastor said a woman sits at home and is given. But this is a virtuous woman. She's doing something with her hands. I've, I've come to realize so many pastors get their cultures, you guess, get their culture and knit it in scripture and find out manipulating things. So you find that a Uganda man will give you the way he sees um, responsibilities different from a Mnyakole, from a white guy, from a Randy's guy, depending on their cultures. So we need to distinguish between scripture and culture. That's always been it. I really believe that um, some of the hindrances that people have had are trying to balance yes. those two. There is a place for both. Yes, there is a place. There is yeah. a place for both culture and salvation or and the Bible. But I have found that one will mix one into the other or say, uh uh, when it comes to culture, you don't bring the Bible. Yes. In that case, I feel like that's where we get the confusion mm -hmm. and the error in all this. But I believe that you can actually have a place where the two of them work together. Yes, yeah. Very, very well. Because the Bible won't condemn me kneeling down for my husband yeah, yeah, yeah it doesn't condemn that at all so i can do it and still be honorable yes, yes other people will, so if you find a person from the western culture they will tell you i only kneel for god and look. that's okay that's okay yes it, that's it's okay you, you don't have to that you, you don't have to for. to impose your culture on exactly in my culture i can do both when i am giving reverence to god i'll kneel down same way I'll do it for my father, mm. my yeah. husband. Mm. So I think there's a place for both. There's a place for both. We just have to know scripture comes exactly. before. Without violating. Yeah, yeah. Law. Scripture comes before anything else. That's true. Yeah, because we always have to know the intention behind that. Mm. Yeah, okay, this was nice. And then she gets up before dawn to prepare a breakfast for her husband and plan the day's work for her servant girls. Okay, what are you saying about it? What I'm saying about that first is a picture that comes to my mind. Have you noticed that modern day women, not all, but this is a common picture, mm. that your, your house help, I like to call them house managers, yes, they're up before you. She's up at five. She and you just say that, the you just say five. Yeah. Before dawn. Takes <laughs> to school, um. cleans the house, puts your breakfast and all. Then our lovely, dear, beautiful wife is up at eight or nine asking, where is that tea? Why isn't this that? Where were, were you? you when everything was done? Exactly. Then there are scenarios that are extremely unfortunate where you find the husband's drifting. Before you know it, there is an uh, extramarital affair. And sometimes you're wondering, how do these men end up with these girls? In that yeah. I mean, she's, if you notice in your home, she's the actual woman. She's, she's doing, she's doing everything. Work. Yeah. And then also, uh, through leadership courses that I'm doing, I've, I've started to learn that all the rich people, whether they have things to do or not, they're up early. They're up before dawn. Yeah, yeah, okay. When you say she wakes up before dawn to prepare her breakfast, um, any successful person in life wakes up before that day and plans for it. When I look at the scripture, I feel like this woman wakes up and plans for her. So she's not shocked, like, oh my God, it's breakfast, is not Oh my God, yet. Because she even has servant girls. Because again, you can also mistake this because there's this mindset of you don't need help. You get like women are condemning, like condemning help. Like so, you find oh man, she has a lot to do, but she can't seek help because a kind of a certain good woman doesn't need help. So she's broken, she's tired, she's she doesn't like her life. I really believe that. You see, all these, these qualities, especially when it comes to work, mm. the qualities of the Proverbs 31 woman, the things she does, she's mm. knitting, she's getting her food with merchant ships, she's what? She's not doing the things alone. That's true. She's not. She has servant girls. She has servant girls. She has servant girls. All she's doing is she is being the leader. Yeah. She's making sure these things are happening yeah. in her presence. Her biggest role as a leader, and in all spheres of life, what I have noticed is that your biggest role as a leader is to think. Yeah. You yeah. think, and you 
<laughs> give ideas if people took thinking away from you they've taken everything that's why i believe waking up early morning mm. is important because in this whole picture the proverbs 31 woman's biggest role is to plan that's true she's a planner because why is she up at 5 a.m exactly. okay i know she's making breakfast for her husband <laughs> She's planning. She's so, planning for the day. So, yes. I mean, she, it's, she, it's her duty to actually say, my husband is going to have eggs and juice and, and this. There is no harm in the servant girl doing this because she's watching, she's telling him how exactly how her husband wants it. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, but yeah. we usually miss that. We yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. How is this woman doing all these? this? Yeah, yeah. And then there's this picture where, you know, I've listened. Uh, I've listened to girls like you know I have to do this after this I'm like you cannot do it all but you're not superwoman you're not superwoman this woman is a leader for crying out loud it's okay to get help yeah it's not ungodly like I know some girls are going to be like I've met those people it's it's okay to get help it is okay yeah it's okay. you need to wake up and you're happy to wake up to your day you need to wake up and you're excited, excited to get to your home you're excited yeah, yeah. okay wow.